Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for the Monica Makes It Happen show. My name is Monica Morales and this show is all about housing and community heroes who are making it happen. I want to start off with our mission to get people the homes and services they deserve. Every day I'm in your neighborhoods and homes fighting for repairs and respect. And today we continue that fight, but first this. Monica Makes It Happen is sponsored by London Disability, dedicated to helping the disabled get Social Security benefits. And we have a great show tonight. Later on, we'll talk to a real community hero, Bed-Stuy Principal, who started a pantry and free clothing closet for her students. She's now helping asylum seekers in her neighborhood. She needs your help, though. But first, I want you to meet a dad from Far Rockaway who is fighting for his building to get gas service. He got our attention with several videos on Facebook. Dozens of buildings across the city right now don't have gas service. Take a look at his story. of Facebook messages from people who live in this building here in Far Rockaway. They say they aren't able to cook on their stoves and they all showed up today as you can see. We got so many pictures of what they used to cook on their stoves and even takeout receipts. Well, all of these people showed up today to talk to us and you know we're here. You hungry? What, eat, eat? I'm Aries, that's my son Chance and I'm gonna frustratingly try to cook on a hot plate. Aries Lucian is a dad on a mission to cook for his son. Not too much to ask, he says. He got our attention with several videos like this one on Facebook. What makes it so frustrating is that we only get one thing at a time. Lucian is beyond frustrated with no gas service in his NYCHA building in Far Rockaway. We visited Monday afternoon. He wasn't alone in his frustration. You brought your hot plate <laughs> yeah, out? It's one pallet, it's one yes. pallet. Um, they also gave us a slow cooker. What can you cook on that? Tell me the truth. The, nothing. nothing. His building is this one at Beach 41st Street Houses. When his neighbors heard Pix11 News was coming, they were waiting outside to tell us their stories. How angry are you about this? Very angry. Can't even cook a dinner. And get this, you just brought out the notice here. Take a look when it says it'll be restored on no date yet. Gas outages are a problem across the city. According to NYCHA's own website, 64 developments have some gas outages as of Monday afternoon. We reached out to NYCHA and a spokesperson tells PIX11 News, quote, gas service interruptions and restoration work are part of public safety and involve multiple partners and steps. These processes are currently underway at Beach 41st Street, Beach Channel Drive. We'll be back. Thank you, Monica, for coming out. You're going to get the job done. And we'll make sure that these residents get their gas service back. And if you have a story, do what Aries did. Just reach out to us with your stories and videos to Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Or scan the QR code right here, and we'll send us your stories, and we'll be there. In Far Rockaway, Monica Morales, PIX11 News. And you know, I really mean it when I say we always go back. We're going to have Aries live with us right now. Um, I can't wait to talk to you, Aries. There you are. I have to ask the obvious question. Where's your son? Is he, is he? A... Thank God for daycare. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so many parents are saying, amen. I hear you. I hear you. But I remember how many families came and you just told them, hey, Monica's coming and the entire neighborhood was out there. You exactly. are you are such a leader, Aries, and you're a community champion and you care. And it's all because you just want to cook for your son. That's all you're asking for. Well, I said a simple meal huh. <laughs> in an orderly, timely fashion. That's, That's it. That's all anybody would want in their household, um, especially now that school and work is intertwined with each other. You don't have enough mm -hmm. time to just cook a meal at, at four hours at a time. You want to be able to home cook an orderly fashion meal, eat, and then get yourself prepared for the next day. And that's kind of hard to do without the essential of gas. You know what's so disturbing about it, too, is that every story that we do, well, it's thousands of viewers. So that's why we have so many viewers on Facebook here talking about it. Uh, 51 buildings uh, that we just checked is the latest number. That's a lot of developments that that's don't have gas services, not just you. What happened after our story? Tell us the update. 
Um, so the update is every two weeks they try to have a meeting with us so keep us updated on everything that's going on. A meeting? On. So, that's it? A meeting? Like, what's the a action? Meeting. So, we, so we still have no date as to when the guests will actually be returning. Supposedly, they're trying to get a food truck to come out here three times a week, but we have no date on when that's supposedly happening. So now for me... I'm just trying to get my funds together so that way I could possibly get a B and B for Thanksgiving, so that way I'd be able to cook my turkey oh, and stuff in it. No, and you know what? Thanksgiving is just around the corner; it comes really quickly. I guess at this <laughs> point, what is the next steps? What it, it's all about communication. I always find with NYCHA that's the best thing to do. Is you just need communication with NYCHA. What is the next step? How are we communicating with the residents? Right. Right, and that's the issue. There is no form of communication. Mm -hmm. They don't put notices up. They're not sending emails. They're not calling our numbers. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as soon as rent is due, they would know how to get in contact with us. So the same method they use to get in contact with us for rent, they should use to get in contact with us to communicate with us what's actually going on and what's really going on. And how long is this going to take? So and I always have, I have a deadline, Aries. I always have, you know, Thanksgiving. We got to get this fixed before Thanksgiving because I'm envisioning you. You have to cook for your son for Thanksgiving. And I'm exactly. just curious. If 51 units, that's 51. a lot of units. That's not going to be able to cook for Thanksgiving. So that's, that's a, a lot problem. of family. I'm just curious. Where's the hot plate? Is it right behind you? Where's your hot plate? Remember last time uh, you had... Right over <laughs> you put it, it in the it's, closet. It's not too far. It's not too far. It's portable. So I, I, it's not too far. But you can't you cook anything on it. That's the issue. You, is can't, you can't cook anything on it. So it's just like, you know, well, like now, I, like we've been eating like box mac and cheese and hot dogs and stuff yeah. instead of, you know, the norm. Well, we've been, covering, of stuff we used to eat. We've been covering this story for so many years. What is it? Seven years now. Um, really so many gas outages across the city and again they always say it's multiple partners but if there's better communication and there's pressure we have to keep the pressure on aries thank you so much for being with us i really appreciate thank it thank you for making it happen monica you are such an angel you know i'm always shining the light it's all about us shining the light but you you're the one that's we are making it happen together as you know like Take frank sinatra said if you can make it here you can make it anywhere so new york <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Aries. All right, now let's turn to the bed School that has become the example of what schools across the city can do to help asylum seekers and their families. In District 16 in bed there are more than 200 new students. Here's what one amazing principal is doing to help make that happen. We first met Daniel Darby, the principal here at Global Finance, back in December of 2021 when her students needed resources. She opened up a school closet and a school pantry right here at the school, converting two closets in the school gymnasium. Well, now there is a new need, and the mission is expanding citywide. We are willing to take whatever people have to make sure that the families of this district uh, is supported. Naquan McQueen is the Community Education Council president for District 16's 19 schools in Bed-Stuy. High schools or yeah. other high schools, other local high schools. Okay. Right now, there is an urgent need. Families that need clothing, uh, some of the clothing, and then laundry detergent. At just one school, Global Finance High School in bed -Stuy, there are 225 students and now an additional two dozen students who are asylum seekers. McLean says district-wide there are over 200 of them. So he joined forces with the principal of Global Finance, Danielle Darby. They saw an opportunity to provide resources and bring the community together. It's much easier for us to connect the dots for families. Darby says many of her students are low income and live in shelters and affordable housing. That's why they started the school pantry and clothing closet in 2021. It started really small, but it's grown. We've, you know, Monica, you've added your village to our village, but people are also really willing to give. A resource now needed more than ever, but the shelves are empty and need to be restocked. We're empty. We're empty. <gasps> oh my gosh. And McLean says his district is planning a resource fair to connect new families to legal services, health care, and housing. But every day there's a new need, and having a place to go at the school is key. We're low on detergent, we're low on toiletries, hygiene items, toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, things like that. Sometimes we don't ask, and when we ask, it's powerful. 16-year-old Javon Scott is a junior here and says the message is clear. 
this is not even a school, it's more of a family. And the resource fair is this week, but the need never stops. Right now, there is an urgent need for toiletries, detergent, and microwavable food. If you can help, we'll link you there. Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Or scan the QR code right here, and we'll link you to how you can help. In bed -Stuy, Monica Morales, PIX11 News. And now my hero, Daniel Darby, the principal of Brooklyn Academy of Global Finance, joins us now. Hi, Miss Darby. I can't call you Danielle. You're Miss Darby to me. And I have so much respect for what you have done. We have covered your story, well, for years now. And wow, you are now the example of what to do to help asylum seekers across the district. How do you feel about that? It's, it's amazing. Good morning, Monica, and Go thank on. you for on again and continuing to publicly support our school and our endeavors the last few years to make sure that all of our families have the resources. And as we've discussed, we're we're expanding and the need has never gone away. If anything, it, it continues to grow as we take in more families and especially with the new asylum seekers and new families coming in to the neighborhood. And we have to make sure the children have what they need to do well in school and be able to come to school and be successful. And you started this. What I love about Facebook is we can talk about these stories. You started it because your students were hungry. You noticed that your students would take extra lunches to go home. And you would, you would ask them, because I'm getting chills thinking about it, you asked them, why are you doing that? And they're like, we don't have food at home. And that's what moved you to action. And it's people like you, it's principals like you that are saving lives every day. It's a heavy responsibility that we have as principals, and we really need to reach out to the community and work together as a community to support. So it's it's exciting to work with the Community Education Council and President McLean to expand this district wide. I was speaking to one of my fellow principals in the district the other day, and he's gotten 90 families, new families coming wow. in there who have needs. And it's, it's not just one school, the entire district. So we're trying to... Mm. So families know where to go for resources so they don't have to go all over the place for all different resources. The resource fair that the CEC hosted in the building last week was phenomenal. Probably had about 100 families. We had UFT with homework help. We had park hair with medical support and resources that they can mobilize in the community to support families. There was food. There was clothing. We've received some clothing donations. But what we're really concerned about is consistency and being able to consistently support the families. As you know, it's been a grassroots mm. effort over the last couple of years. Yeah, well, everything we do here at PIX11 is grassroots. It starts with one story and then it just mushrooms and you have mushroomed and what you're doing is now a movement to make sure our kids are not hungry at school. And what I've watched you do is we've gotten connections from the Corrections Officers Association to Jamani Williams' mom giving freezers. I mean, so many people watch PIX11, so we use this platform, especially Facebook, to make those connections happen. If someone's watching, what exactly do you need? I think my last question is, what exactly can someone do right now if they're watching? We definitely need food. We need basic toiletries. We need sheets and blankets, really basic needs, especially for those families who are in, in shelters. Microwavable food, as Naquan and I mentioned on the, the piece that ran last week, because, and you've just discussed with the viewer who was on before me, that there's not always a way to cook an entire meal. So dry foods and microwavable meals and something I'm hoping maybe a corporation can reach out or someone with consistent resources or consistent funding so that we're not piecing everything together week to week. As I said, we've gotten some small donations, but we really need a lot more right now to be able to support I not just but the district. I have a really good feeling. Every time we do your story, somebody steps up. And so we're going to be on this. You know, we, we have you on all the time because you're one of our favorite people. Principals are superheroes without capes. That's for sure. Thanks, Ms. Darby, for joining us. I know you're really busy. You probably have to go <laughs> run around. I, just keeping up with you is so hard sometimes. But <laughs> thank you for everything that you do. You're making it happen. And here at PIX11, we're all about shining a light, as you know helping you get action. We're here fighting for you. If you have a story, reach out to us at Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And watch us every night, okay, at 4, 5.55, and 6.30. Let's make it happen together. See you next time.